I need a Red Dead Redemption show. The Last of Us adaptation on HBO Max is doing absolutely tremendous. I love it. I've it's <laughs> the emotional impact that that show has had on me in the past three weeks compared to some of the stuff that I've seen in the past couple of years is absolutely wild. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop watching this episode because I'm gonna keep crying and I don't I don't want to. Ah, shit. <laughs> I love, I love, I love, I love when media makes me feel something. I love when me media makes me feel an emotion and gets a strong emotional response to me because it ticks all the right boxes. I f ah! HBO is uh, knocking it out of the park with The Last of Us, man. Hey, yeah, this is, ah. Ah, I, I, <laughs> HBO is absolutely knocking it out of the park, man. The casting is on point. The set design is absolutely immaculate. Just uh, the the makeup is crazy, especially on the uh, clickers. It's just it, all a lot of good stuff going around. Now, in the spirit of what I would like similar adaptations to go, I think the Red Dead Redemption series would be a fantastic medium in a TV episode form. Specifically, you would have to start off with Red Dead Redemption Two and then transition to the original Red Dead Redemption, and uh, it works honestly. I mean, you could go the original way but i do think a prequel would kind of take some people out because people can say what they want but i generally do feel like people like arthur morgan a lot more than john marston and they're both fantastic characters don't, don't get me wrong but i think that arthur morgan had a bigger emotional impact on some people especially with seeing how far the gang starts to fall apart and arthur was the heart of pretty much all of them. there's so many things they could do with this series you could show uh arthur's son you could show uh arthur's relationship with his father when he was young you could see a lot of his formative years with dutch and certain flashbacks there's a lot of really good things you could do me personally i'm not really that worried about casting i would rather have well put together story and fantastic actors rather than someone who just looks like the character that's kind of ugh. like a lot of people were being very very harsh on Ellie's actress because she doesn't look like Ellie in the games. People were saying some pretty rude shit online, honestly. Now, obviously, we all know that's not okay. And she pretty much put her foot down and proved that, yeah, she, she's Ellie in this role. And so there would be a lot of pressure for someone to step into the role of Arthur Morgan or step into the role of, uh, you know, Micah or Lenny, you know what I mean? But nah, man, I I, I think they have a lot to go off of, man. Just the, the amount of tragedy that happens in this story, but a lot of like, heartfelt moments would be really interesting to see now obviously they're probably going to go with the good path it's probably the best told story and it's the most consistent with arthur's character but it wouldn't surprise me if they kind of expand some of the the darker things that arthur has done in his life season two transitioning to the original red dead redemption and seeing inclusion of that i feel like would have a tremendous emotional impact honestly i think that a lot of people would definitely ball their eyes out at the end of the second season season um i i don't know if i would be ready to even watch the ending of the first season because when i first played red dead Redemption 2 i was not prepared for how attached i was going to get to the cast of characters and honestly it just it it, it tore me apart man just seeing what ends up happening to our protagonist man it's just ideally i would probably have the format and maybe a 11 to 12 episode format uh you could probably stretch out to 13 or 14 but i i feel like you would run the risk of starting to tread some ground of repeating certain things or something like that i mean I, it could work in something shorter like nine or eight but I, I don't know i think i would rather the story kind of take its time and breathe expand on certain things that's what i would like personally now maybe the second season you know the original red dead redemption you could kind of stretch it out however you want i mean hell you could even have a really goofy episode and have some of the red dead undead stuff i mean i don't think it would matter too much i mean uh, it's kind of goofy i would probably have this on like so special or, or, or something it's kind of something just off by itself maybe like a fever dream sequence or something and like someone's dreaming and they start seeing all these zombies and shit and they try to find bigfoot it's just like something just balls off the wall crazy i think halo for a lot of people kind of proved that sticking to the source material and sticking to the original scripts and direction uh really really is important now i personally have not watched halo nor do, do i plan to but i do think compared to the last of us or something like uncharted uh, people really really just want to see the games that they played and experienced in a different medium and if not expanded upon do some do some new stuff like i've been listening to uh the podcast after the last of us episodes and you can just 
tell that this project is just oozing with passion from the directors, from these people. Uh, Troy Baker, the original voice actor for Joel, uh, I believe he leads the podcast and he's talking with the director and, and, and some other people. And you can just feel that there was so much love on this project that people cared about telling a good story man i just i love i love that i can i i when you feel the passion in a medium it is very very apparent who cares and who doesn't it's very apparent who's out for a paycheck and who's not you can people talk about the modern marvel movies and, and all that kind of stuff but like i got a bigger emotional reaction from this than i've gotten in like any show maybe ranking of kings or something like that but like the the consistent heartbreak from this show man just i mean oh my goodness the episode three of the last of us i i i i i, I was out of character man I, I almost started sobbing it was so sad i literally cannot stress i, I can't stress enough how good that show is please go watch that please go support it but yeah those are pretty much my thoughts man what would you guys think man about a red dead redemption tv show what network would you like to, it to be on uh what are your casting choices please let me know in the comments below i appreciate it if you like the video make sure you subscribe like the video all that good stuff and yeah it's me your boy daffy guys thank you guys so much for joining me on this discussion i will see you guys in the next video all right peace